going on, people? Hope y'all doing fantastic. One thing I forgot to mention in my previous video called Wood Stoves, Carburetors, and Moonshine was that you're going to need some kind of protection to keep all that stuff. It's real. It's no green screen over here. You're going to need some protection to keep all that type of stuff. That's it. That's all I'm going to talk about it. Moving on. Um, so what this video is about is a lot of people, well, I shouldn't say a lot of people, some people get upset when they see my videos. Now, I'm just talking about me. I, who cares what everybody else is doing? I'm just, they see my videos, and because I don't give you the check, whatever the check is, I don't give you, hey, just hand over the check. Or what's your name? Mr. YouTube, whatever name is. Here's the check. I don't give you the check. I give you the process of how to keep the check, uh, how to get the check, and how to keep the check. But y'all don't want to hear nothing about that. So you just want the check. So, for instance, let's say that you've had your CDL for a while, right? You got some experience and everything like that. You come to YouTube to find out what everybody else is doing. Oh, so and so's over at that company. Let me go over to that company. No, oh, that company is 600 miles away from you. They don't even run in your area. Why do you think you're going to go over there and then make the same amount of money this guy is over? This guy is making when he's over there and you're over here. They don't have no freight over here. I mean, that doesn't make any sense. Um, and so what you can do here, here's the here's the check, right? The process to the check. This is for you company guys. Uh, and I'm not picking on company guys. I'm just using that as losing this as an example. You can ride down the road. You can sit in the parking lot and watch trucks go by all day long. You can take down names, name, 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 name. Keep writing it down. Then you can go see, okay, does that company have a website? Oh, look, this company has a website. Oh, look, company has a website. Okay. Get the list of websites. Then you go to the website. Now, this is somebody looking for a job, looking for a better opportunity, whatever. Now you're looking at the, okay, they're hiring. Okay, let me see. Look at the building fence, blah, 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 blah. Just pay, blah, 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 pay, blah, blah, blah. Now you got a whole list. Now you can go pick and choose which one you want to fly for. Uh, top tier, middle tier, bottom tier. We'll call them anyway, but we're not really interested. But maybe they have something now, uh, whatever. You know, you can do that. Same way with these owner operator lease companies. You do the same thing. Uh, lease on, you know, lease on companies. You can do the same thing. I mean, it's not that hard, but some of y'all, y'all just looking for the check. Just give me the check. I just want the check. But you don't know the process of the keeping, of getting the getting the check and also keeping the check. What do you mean keeping the check, brother, man? You go out here, somebody can go out here and make $10,000. $10,000 for the week. Well, how much did it cost you to make that $10,000? Well, it cost me 11000 brother, man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. You're $1,000 uh, in the hole, but I made $10,000. Okay, right. Exactly. See, that's what I'm saying. See, a lot of these companies, they know this stuff. A lot of these mega carriers, they know this stuff because don't do, y'all don't do your research. Y'all don't do your research. Y'all don't understand the process or anything. Mega Carrier will say, hey, you know, you can make X amount of dollars and this and that and everything like that. And you, oh, yeah, you're running. Then a couple months ago, wait a minute. This wasn't, y'all, yeah, because yeah, you you didn't listen to people like Brother Man. You didn't listen to us. Yo, man, I wouldn't do that. Yep, they, <laughs> whatever. I mean, I'm not going to spend too much time on that. But y'all, some of y'all just looking for the check. And it's funny. And I know, see, as a content creator, I can look at other industries and I can see where they're trying, they're doing a lot of testing and marketing. Mark, business, business revolves around marketing, sales and marketing. I can look at other YouTubers. Not that I'm really looking there for anything, but I, look, I watch other industries. I see, I saw this one YouTuber uh, he might he probably watches my channel. I'm not sure. He has like 100,000 subscribers. He, he's a business guy. And he watches my channel. I'm, he, he may watch my channel. He's like, okay, let me go try this industry with you know, his content. And <laughs> he tried the industry. He tried it, right? And I was like, oh, I'm going to watch this. This is funny. And what do they want? 
They just wanted the check. They didn't want to buy no products. They didn't want to buy nothing. They just wanted the check. I, I, just, I just sat back and laughed. I was like, see, they trucking boy. They, it's like once, once we, once, whatever the topic is, once you insert the word trucking to it, it's like everything that you knew about business or whatever, or finance, everything goes out the window. It's gone. It's, it's up there in the, in the, in the chemtrails up there. Right. I was like, look at this. This is, and I just, I just sat back and laughed. Right. I was, hey. That's the mentality of the, you know, the average truck drivers, mega carry and Dr. Nation. You know, good. just give them the check. Don't teach them nothing else. <laughs> oh, it's funny. It is, I mean, it's funny, but it's also sad at the same time. But you also have to watch out for informational marketers. Now, I've watched um, as a business person. I've watched. Grant Cardone, I've watched Robert Kiyosaki. I actually have a couple of his books, and I've watched Dave Ramsey. Now, what these guys don't tell you is once you start doing research and looking at how they do things, I use Grant Cardone. He puts out some good information, but I don't watch him religiously. I just occasionally I watch him, but I haven't really watched him probably like over a year. He puts out some good information. Robert Kiyosaki. I was watching Robert Kiyosaki back in, man, it was like 2007 when I read Rich Dad Poor Dad. Was watching him. I started, saw his silver books. Man, I started buying silver, silver and gold. Um, and he had some good principles along with Grant Cardone. And um, well, I'll just talk about those two for a second. Now, one pattern that I noticed with these two was I told you about the, oh, here we go. Here we go. It's time to click the video off. Subconsciously, I'm starting to pick things up as I'm starting to, um, as I'm starting to learn and kind of qualify the thoughts going through my head. I'm like, I started seeing patterns like Grant Cardone. Now, this is just me. I started seeing hand symbols and the little triangle, Illuminati triangle thing, you know, with the eye in there, you know, the triangle with the eye, the triangle like this, right, with the eye in there. And I saw the same thing with Kiyosaki. And I was like, ooh, it was like a wall. I was like, nope, I got it. I can't put too much time listening to these guys. Um, because there's... I don't want to get into that with this video because it, I will go on for, for a while. But if you start watching these guys and they're involved in that Freemason type stuff, what happens is, or what could happen, is there's a, all this stuff is spiritual. I don't care what you want to, you know, whether you believe it or not, all this stuff is spiritual. So there's a spirit associated with that type of stuff. And there's a, 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 a there's a saying I heard somewhere that said, the love of my, the love of money is the root of all evil. So what's the pattern between these two people? The pattern is it looks like it just looks like you, just, you know, you put your it looks like they love money. That's a spirit. Right. So I was like, hmm, interesting. Somebody else that's not even on this. This just popped in my mind. I was listening to another guy that blows these cats out of the water. Uh, business guy, and he was saying, I was listening to one of his um, shows one day, and he was talking about uh, some of these religious cats, um, mega church guys, these mega church guys, and he was saying that Joel Osteen has taken classes from him. Uh, it was either him or his dad, maybe his dad, but Joel O maybe. Somebody in the Joel in the Osteen family was taking classes from this, this business guy, strictly hardcore business. And what the guy said was he wasn't even talking about um, religion or anything. Well, he, he mentioned religion, but he said, you know what he said? He said religion sells. So some of y'all that watch these uh, big mega carrier, my uh, mega carrier, well, mega carrier, big um, mega church guys and stuff like that ain't doing nothing but just taking money in and stuff like that. Hey, you might want to look that stuff I don't know man but I'm not trying to sell you nothing um so you might want to check that out 
And then and there's, well, that's that. And then there's uh, Dave Ramsey. Um, so his principles work. If you're in that situation, you like his principles, go ahead and do them. But one thing that these cats have in common is they sell a good part of, I'll say it like this, a good part of their business is selling information. Whether they're doing the deals behind the scenes or not, they're selling you information. So that ties into once you get the check, how do you keep the check? So I know I rambled on for a little bit. Maybe I shed some light on something. Maybe somebody, maybe I'm answering somebody's question that, you know, they had in their mind or something like that. But that's all for that. Um, we're already too long for this video. We'll see you in the next one.